Hello, my sharkies! Happy Halloween once again! <laughs> Welcome to another special stream and... It... Wait, but why is there something blocking the chat? I, I, I don't know. Can, can you do something about that? Okay, um... I don't know what's that... I don't know what's on the chat. G give me a moment. Uh... Where's the interact button? Uh... Hmm... I don't know how to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Sorry about... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh there's that cool though. Oh, she brought the popcorn or uh, ramen. That's nice. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. I, I don't know why that's been popping up before my streams. I don't know if it's because I'm close to getting to 50 followers and I can start doing the emotes. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyways... Like earlier this month, we're going to be doing the scare scraper again to, you know, try to find some more special ghost. And uh, if anyone happens to have Luigi's Mansion 3, feel free to join in if you can. I, I don't quite know how, but uh, yeah, it should, should hopefully be fun and chill. And yeah, I kind of need a chill game after what I went through today. What is it, bruh? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you once the stream starts. Uh, let's just say I beat a certain game that's about to be available. <laughs> Ooh, how mysterious. Shall we come in? Inside ghost hunting? <laughs> yes, let us do that, comrade. Shall we begin? And I do believe so. <laughs> but yeah, we're here on the scare scraper. Hopefully it goes well. Had a little bit of internet problem before we get started, but it seems fine now. I wonder if this if Music Note would enjoy this game, because I think you can technically do the scare scraper with two people. Oh, puny behind the pumpkin. Oh, oh, would you look at it? Huh, I hmm, thought I was really hidden that time. Whoop. Hey, congratulations, you found the puny. Another point for the Fire Emblem stream. I really wonder if I'm being a little too generous with these points. Eh, yeah, what am I saying? Nah. And the only other way to get points is the quiz and money, and I, I'm assuming people are about having as much trouble as I am. So, and no worries. Anyways, let's uh, let's let's see if we can incorporate a similar strategy. Let's try 20 floors this time. See if we can sneak in on someone who's nearly there. Oh wow! Look, would you look at that? Well, this this looks like a good idea. Probably. Yeah. Anyways, while we wait, uh, I did something I have been meaning to do for nearly two decades. And that is I finally beat Banjo-Tooie on my Nintendo 64. <laughs> you see, uh, for those who may, who may know, don't know, uh, Banjo-Tooie is coming to the Switch tomorrow. Yeah, specifically the uh, Nintendo 64 online. So I, I thought, uh, yeah, yeah, yay indeed. So yeah, I thought like I did for Banjo Kazooie, I went ahead and and I went ahead and went, I went ahead and beat it. That's why people keep dropping in and out. And oh, I tell you, Chad, it was so hard. The the Hag one is a nasty final boss. It, it's still, it's not unfair. It's just I kept having a lot of human error. So in that game, the final boss is a skeleton version of Grunty because she was uh, under the rock for so long her skin kind of melted off. But it's her driving a drill tank. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a nasty thing known as the Hag One, which I quite like. It, it's it, I'll tell you, it's it's decked out with quite a bit of nasty stuff. It's got a drill. It's got lasers. It's got missiles. Does that mean we can? Meet Banjo and Kazooie again. Ah, uh, yeah. If you if you play Banjo Tooie, sure thing. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna stream it anytime soon, but uh, I'd love to stream it at some point. Not 100% in it though. That Tooie is a lot harder to to 100% than Kazooie. So, but definitely would do a main playthrough. Though I'd probably do the uh, prequel to it, uh, Banjo Kazooie's Grunty's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance. I'd love to stream that at some point. Yeah, well, once we're done with Paper Mario or Fire Emblem, I'll, I'll have a good list of games for y'all to choose from. But yeah, Banjo... Cause, yeah. 
just do the story instead? Yeah, we, we won't worry about 100%ing. You know? Honestly, the only thing I think I want to really do on Banjo-Tooie is just show off all the transformations and beat all the bosses, because that game has actual proper bosses! So, uh, yeah. But yeah, in, uh, Grunty's Revenge, it was, a it was a Game Boy Advance game they made, and I think I need to go somewhere else. This is taking too long. Oh, uh, let's try this again. But in that game, uh, it takes place in between Kazooie and Tui. Well, that looks good. And it's- the plot's a bit wild, and, and the setup is a little wild. So, uh, Gr Kalungo still couldn't get Grunty out from under the rock. So instead, he creates a robotic mecha version of Grunty, and then Grunty proceeds to transport her soul into the robot, and then proceeds to kidnap Kazooie and travel back in time. <laughs> because of course. And then Banjo, and then Mumbo, yeah, Mumbo Jumbo sends Banjo back in the past, and you gotta go save Kazooie and defeat Mecha Grunty. <laughs> It's quite amazing. She's got like a drill hat and can, and a jetpack. It's quite freaky. It's a pretty simple game, but I'd love to stream it at some point. I'm still trying to figure out how I can. I really would love to draw the transformations more. I did do that as a pro, an art project a while ago. Uh, gonna was gonna have a bunch either people commissioned me or my viewers get to be the transformations. I believe you ended up becoming the pumpkin for a bit, Sucker Kudo. Very adorable. Uh, but uh, never got anyone else to join in on the other transformations. So I, I might need to look into reviving that idea at some point. I still need someone to be the termite, the walrus, uh, the bee, and the washing machine. Because <laughs> they, they were quite fun to draw. Uh, but yeah, Banjo, oh, Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge, pretty, pretty neat, I quite like it. And, uh, it was actually the first Banjo-Kazooie game I ever beat. It was pretty tough, you gotta fight Grunty a lot of times. In fact, G Klungo and Grunty are pretty much the only bosses in the game, besides, like, one ghost pi skeleton pirate. Ah, uh, but yeah. But anyways, I hope y'all will try out Banjo-Tooie when you get a chance. Uh, one thing I might want to consider doing is... You see, there's actually a scrapped m multiplayer mode in the game. So, uh, spoiler alert, in uh, Banjo-Tooie, uh, Bottles dies briefly. But don't, he, he gets better. He'll, he'll, he'll be better by the end of the game. But the thing is, his ghost, which looks like an angel and then in this multiplayer mode would turn into a devil, would basically haunt you, and it would let a second player get to play as the enemies. It's a, it's a mode I always love, would love, would have loved to try, I just, I don't know if I have anyone to try it with. But yeah, it's, uh, it never got fully finished, but if you use a game, if you use Game Shark code, hacking codes, you can actually still access it. And uh, I'd love to do it sometime, I just, uh... I don't know, I don't know, the only person I got here is Music Note, and I don't, I don't know if she could handle Banjo-Tooie. I could, I mean, I could probably just let her play as the enemies, but eh, I don't know. Doesn't work on bosses, unfortunately. I heard the only one they got working was Old King Cole. Who was, uh, who was very much not, uh, who was not a merry soul. <laughs> okay, I think we should be good now. Eh, why did it freeze? Oh, okay, good. All right, let's do this, chat. Time to hunt some ghost. Ah, it feels nice to be using a controller. I, I quite, I do have, I have mixed opinions about the N64 controller. It, it feels nice and fun at times, but that that joystick is like hard plastic, so it, it can really hurt your thumb after a while. All right, we gotta catch the ghost. Oh, hello, hello, Luigi's. Oh, oh hello, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, Luigi. It's a me, Luigi. And I'm suddenly orange for some reason. Okay, I, I go. Oh, uh, good luck with that, Luigi's. Uh, Luigi, go look at someone else. All right, let's be careful, chat. We don't want to run. We don't want to accidentally run into the rug again. But yeah, we. 
Maybe you should watch Ghostbusters for Halloween. Ah, uh, maybe. I already got some stuff planned for Halloween. Uh, some Halloween themed top 10 lists I've been meaning to get to. Uh, some Scooby Doo movies. I, I might consider watching uh, Hotel Transylvania 2. I always meant to watch it on Halloween, I just never got around to it. You all ever see Hotel Transylvania? I think it's quite fun. Uh, quite like Mavis. She's a very adorable vampire girl. Very fun. Uh, uh, yeah, I really should watch Ghostbusters sometimes, especially because I have a little bit of Ghostbusters merch. By that I mean I have a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man pillow pet. Oh, and I also have a uh, Lego Dimensions figures for the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and Slimer. In case you could tell, I quite like the monsters. Oh, we did it! Wow. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, so nice to actually have co a bunch of competent Luigi's! Uh, well, we have. Well, we still have two competent Luigi's! I wonder if I. Oh, I wonder if I should ever try getting those costumes. Oh. In Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams. Oh, yeah, I've heard, heard you shouldn't do that. Like, I saw most of the Ghostbusters, a bit of the Ghostbuster movies when my dad rented it from Blockbuster back in the day. I think I saw a bit of the finale. The uh, part where they fought and caught Slimer. And I think the part where all the ghosts escaped. Oh no, not today. Get here, you snake. Oh, another. Oh, a, a gingy Coco. Hold up, Luigi. Hey, Luigi saw that. Get over here. Hey, come here, come here. All right. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Oh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of this uh, video I recent I showed my family a little while ago. Is, did y'all know that there was actually a, a TV show that was called Ghostbusters that was made before the Ghostbusters movies? So yeah, before they made the Ghostbusters movie, someone else had already used the title. They called uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, I believe it was made, it was for this uh, very weird filmation show. Uh, you know, called Ghostbusters, but in, in but in that show, it was about these uh, these two guys uh, and, one, and a gorilla. I forget what the I forget what one guy's name is, but the other was called Kong. You know, the joke being that he's not the monkey. And they was they would just like ran a goat a service where they would just like go fight monsters like ghosts or mummies or vampires, and then they just had like this weird camera thing that would just. Disintegrate them. It was it was a it was a very odd show. If if you ever have the chance, maybe look up the uh, defunct TV about Ghostbusters. It's quite silly. Yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. They actually had to. They act, you know, the funny thing is, they actually had to like nego. The people who made the Ghostbusters movie had to like negotiate with with uh, the people who with Filmation to get the rights to use the name. And of course, it won they actually had a cartoon as well, which was also airing around the time as the real Ghostbusters. Kind of that, why they called it the real Ghostbusters is to kind of spite the ones that had the, had the title first. But yeah, it's very weird. They had a two guys... Bouncing off each other with a with a gorilla uh, with a man with a gorilla suit. Which uh, I think I think the gorilla was called Tracy or something like that. And uh, would often have funny hats on. Cause uh, if best way to make a gorilla not scary, just give it a funny hat. Oh well, yeah, it's it's quite, quite something. Uh, yeah, my, uh, yeah, Ghostbusters was pretty he heavily featured, had uh, quite a bit in LEGO Dimensions. That was like Skylanders, but with uh, LEGO characters. It was a lot of fun. 
Okay, now come on, dude. Please get over here. Oh, I do hate these these button things. Okay, good. Just so often there's like one Luigi who won't step on the button and it usually ruins the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Alright, come here, come here. Where you gonna come? Luigi! Oh, was that, you remember watching the Boomer Crew when you was little? Oh yeah, that, yeah, they, oh we did it! Oh yeah, they uh, also did a fun TV about that. That was a fun show. Oh yeah, yeah. Not my favorite, but I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. The Boomer uh, Crew was uh, quite a fun little yeah. leader. Not a good episode. Uh, yeah, those uh, Krat Brothers, they've, they've had quite a few shows. They actually had a show before Zuma Boomafu. I think they did another one where they were like getting up and close to, uh, quote, animals to show they're not dangerous. Mostly. And then they did like a show, an animated show where they got like these special suits that let them uh, temporarily uh, copy the, the animal powers. It was pretty fun. My sisters watched it a lot. Bit after, a bit after my time. But uh, one episode I did see of it, I think it was uh, called Wild Frets. This uh, interesting thing happened where uh, their suit got, an, this uh, random seven tentacled octopus accidentally got the suit, and then it just started copying any animal it touched. So basically, this whatever this octopus touched, it would it would turn it, it would basically gain that animal part. And by the end, it's like this freaky whale sea monster with like, like shark teeth and tentacles and it, it was awesome. Yeah, wild threads. But yeah, it was the episode with, uh, with the Octopus 7. Uh, it was pretty neat. And honestly, I'd love it if there was like a video game based on that, just an animal that just like, Mimics other animal body parts to grow bigger. Did I see that's a fake door? Hey, but anyways, we we gotta remember. No, we're not here to catch ghosts. We're here to catch. Here to protect toads. Yeah, good show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, PBS Kids used to be so good back in the day. That, that was, the, you see, for the longest time, we didn't, my family did not have cable because it was too expensive. I think it was too expensive. What's with all these banana peels? Hey, we used to, but yeah, but used to, I used to spend part of the day watching PBS Kids and the other part watching Kids WV because that, that used to come on every day. And then at some point they moved it to only being on the weekends, which, uh, uh, did, didn't go too well for me, cause mainly because uh, I also watched the Fox Box, which was later rebranded to Four Kids TV. So I oh, gotta have to choose. Oh, I knew that was a fake door. Bananas. Yeah, there's a bunch of banana peels on the floor, and it's quite annoying. All right, there you go. Toad, Toad, come here. Come here, Toad. Ah, very good, very good. Alright, I didn't go into... I forgot to go into the TV over here. Ah, uh, but yeah. I, I don't know what they have on PBS Kids anymore. I just... I, I don't think it's as good as what I grew up with. I gotta grow up with stuff like... Like Dragon Tales and Clifford the Big Red Dog, um, Between the Lions. Uh, what were some other good ones? Uh, Word Girl was on at one point. That, that was a fun show. I quite like that that started popping up on YouTube a lot more because of how funny of a show it is. I mean, one of the villains was voiced by Tom Kenny. Okay, we got a bit of problem because the slink, the sneakers. Oh no, where is it? Oh wait, wait. Where? Oh, I see it! I saw that! I saw him! Get him, get him, get him! Wait, where'd he go? Put the toad- Would you put the toad down? Aha! Get him, get him, get him, get him! 
Or get, get him away, Jim. Okay, don't get him. I'm out. Oh, someone unlocked the door. Very good. Okay, Luigi, can, can you put the toad down? Thank you. Oh no. Oh, I hope we didn't get a troll. So, one time when I was was doing this, there was some Luigis who picked up the toad and wouldn't put him down, which essentially made us lose the... Okay, thank goodness. But yeah, there were two... Wow. Oh, goodness. Dude. Okay, no. Oh, can you... Could you not? Dude! Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, no. Oh, I hope he's not trolling us. And Hurry! Let him in. Let him in. Let him in. Go on, Toad. Toad! What are you... Toad! Get... get. Go, Toad! <gasps> Woo! Oh goodness, that was close. I remember hearing the hearing sponsorships before the shows on PBS Kids started. Oh yeah, uh, as the odd ones out said, "Juicy Juice" and "Where a Kid Can Be a Kid" is definitely burned into your skull. Yeah, they always it's always "Juicy Juice." I wonder if that was any good. And a uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese was quite fun. Does anyone know if Chuck E. Cheese is still opened? I think I... By the skin of our teeth, indeed. Just in time, too, because now we get to go to the boss floor. Well, you know. Which is what we're here for. We're here to get some special ghosts. Hopefully we won't have a case of one of the Luigi's trolling. What we need to do now is find find where the key is. And watch out for the rats. Alright, there you go there, Luigi Lucia. And we just gotta check all the doors to see if one of them has the key. Just gotta figure out where the key is. Okay, it wasn't there. No? We're oh, we're in the right room, we just gotta find the key. Oh! Thank you. Oh, we found it! Oh, right. Over here! Over here! Over here! Oh no. Over here! Uh. Oh, for goodness sake, he got stuck. Where where are you going? Okay, dude, dude. Okay, uh, that one's picked up a trap siren, and that one went and got himself trapped. Oh, goodness. Uh, Luigi's. Oh, careful. Don't wanna... I hate these traps so much. Don't worry, I, I get him. Oh, good, these, I think. Oh, no. Lu Why are these Luigi's exploring? Now's not the time. Oh no. We don't have time for this. Get over here! Oh, wait, wrong way. Yeah, it's. I really wish I could get paired with people who actually know how to play the game. Okay, Lu Luigi's. W what are you doing? As Ak Akbar would say, it's a trap. 
All right, now remember, Jack, we need to make... Luigi! Luigi! What are you doing? Get over here! Dude! Oh, why did they waste so much time? Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, good. Oh, no. Some big boys. Don't know if we'll be able to get... Wait, are those even... I think they're special. Oh. Tricky part is... Is... Because we need to suck it up on them up. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Ow! Also, not dying. That would also help. Uh... I really wish they made it so you could suck them up. Even if you do this. Oh, no. Where'd he, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, no. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, wait, who got it? Yeah, that Luigi got some power. Okay, I don't know if we caught it or not, but... Oh. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't know if we caught him. He might have messed up. Uh, I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. No! Wait, there's one more. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I hope they know not to... No! You fool! Uh, oh, well. Sag... Sag... I go so combo? I guess so. Oh, praise Silky and Quake Rave! Hey, hello, Epic Pikachu! Glad you could make it! We just cleared the specials floor and hopefully caught the special ghost. Indeed! Seems to be going well. Oh. You know, other than the fact that we lost two Luigi's. But yeah. Yeah. I don't recall this Sagozo combo doing that. Just kind of slamming. Makes sense. Ah, but anyways, yeah, we're doing the Scare Scraper on Luigi's Mansion 3. We're trying to capture special ghosts. We just got one, hopefully. I don't know if we actually sucked it up or not, or if they all got smashed. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. Thought I oh can't stay long super long because it's storming here and my internet is probably gonna die. Oh, sorry about that, Epic Pikachu. Well, uh, I hope I can ent entertain you as long as possible, but uh, don't feel bad if it happens. But yeah, good luck. Uh, I'll try to we'll have a lot try to have a lot of fun until then. Uh, but yeah, I know you uh, reminds me of how messed up things were when the when this when that hurricane knocked out the power in the entire state. It, it was tough having to go for an entire, like, nearly a whole week without power, and then even longer without internet. Thank goodness we had a generator, and, oh, money! Gotta get the money! And I really need to get a money sound effect. I, I think I got one, I just haven't installed it yet. I wonder if we should have just stuck... Did you get yourself trapped already? Oh, no. Ah, mommy. Yeah, another problem with this. Why does Mother Nature hate the internet? Yeah, I don't know if it hates the internet. I think it just doesn't care about power lines. Uh, but yeah, it, it was free, like literally the entire state, as well as like three other states, completely lost power. Oh wait, okay, just gotta get rid of these guys so we can look for the money. I'm honestly wondering if maybe I should have gone for some ten floor ones instead. Because I think if we open, anyways, I think if we open that crazy. So yeah, thank y'all for showing up. Yeah, this is yeah. probably last, uh, we're, there's, uh, not gonna be a special stream oh, okay. next week because, ooh, you know, Halloween. And I, I figured y'all want, would want to go out trick-or-treating or go to Halloween parties next week on Thursday. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all, yeah. yeah. Right there we go. What? What are you doing here? There's not supposed to be a sma- a crash- what? A, a crusher? Okay, again, don't worry about the big ghost. Get, just get the money. We need the money. Uh, 
Okay, we'll deal with you in a minute. Gotta get the- we need me gold! E excuse me, I- what did I just tell you? I mean, get out of- uh. Yeah, I do not- I personally do not- Ah! Oh, come on! Uh, maybe I shouldn't have been talking about blackouts. How am I gonna count? How am I gonna find money now? Well, this is not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, it should be... These money ones are pretty easy to mess up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh thank... Oh, good job, Luigi. Thank goodness. Oh. No, no, not briefcase. Alright. Yeah, blackouts. Oh, hey, watching Ben. Thanks for stopping by. We're currently doing the scare scraper, trying to get in this floor, trying to get special ghosts. Currently, we're trying to get money. Oh, but we found glasses. Oh, I think that lets us see where all the ghosts are. At least on Guiji. Oh, wait, that's weird. It says there's ghosts here, but I don't see any. That's uh. Yeah. Maybe they're hiding in the briefcase. Okay, it's all up and up. I don't know how to little, but I think there's probably some golden goobs around here. Oh. Yep. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's go! There we go. Money, 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 money. Uh, yeah, I, we might actually mess up here because it's a lot of that's a lot of gold we got it for just two Luigi's to find. But uh, yo, do hit these boo statues. They can they a bit of a bit of gold in them. And I'm a little worried the other Luigi's not doing anything. Yeah, you know, I'm really happy my N64 still works. I, I don't think I can stream with it, because I, I don't think I have anything that rec can record it. Uh, but wh what's the oldest game system y'all have? For me, it's it's the N64. Ooh. Nah. I think second oldest would be either the Game Boy Advance SP or the GameCube. Uh, good times. I'm amazed that the... How fun! I'm so happy it still works, and that it's actually still a lot of fun to play. Oh no, rock! Oh. Oh. Really, would be nice if some clocks would show up. We're halfway there, and I'm about to start living on the prayer. This is oh no. Well, it'll be fine if we restart. It won't be too bad if we reset, because again, it's every fifth floor that that we get go that we'll see. The special ghost. Yeah. Oh, so oh, thank goodness you found time. Yeah. Ooh, pearls, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, we're get we're getting there, Chad. But oh, I, I I don't know if we're going to make it. Uh, maybe let's just head for the goat. Any gold goobers? <laughs> oh, you. Oh, what's that? You have a NG. Wait, what? N64. Why is that? I don't know why that's that got censored. I, I need to. Yeah. You have an N64. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! No, you confused Luigi. You confused me. Are you? Wait, are you going to help or not, Luigi? Why, Blue? Luigi. Okay, good. Oh, we gotta hurt. oh, come on, we're, we're so close, we're so close! Yay, we did it! I don't know why I typed G instead of 6. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't know. Eh, but yeah. But yeah, that was like my first real video game system before I just played computer games and online games. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, my favorite N Nintendo 64 game is uh, Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. It's such a great game. Definitely the in my top five games of all time. I actually played it a little before 
uh, streaming today. Oh, we gotta get, oh, capture the ghost. Uh, it's still fun. I, I, I'm really close to 100%ing it, as in all I have to do is the boss battle mode, the arena where you gotta fight every boss in the game one after another, you know, without any health restoration and new special abilities. Yeah, I'm close. I just I keep losing to the second to last one, that being Miracle Matter. I kind of want to stream Kirby 64 at one point. Oh, your mo oh, it's that epic big two. Your mom has an Atari, although it, 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 they're a, it's the re-release flashback edition, not the OG Kong, so... Oh yeah, I heard of Atari. Yeah, I think they used to be like the kings of the video game world until uh, they kind of started making too many not-so-good games. <coughs> E.G. Uh, but yeah, I wonder... Uh, but yeah, I, I was so happy when they added Nintendo 64 to Nintendo Online. Uh, wasn't very happy about the $50 slash $80 price point. Uh, just had to pay for it recently. But oh well, it, it, get, it tends to get better the longer you have it, so... There's that at least. I'm, I'm just happy they added Game Boy Advance games, because that, that was like my next console I got. It was a Christmas present, I loved it so much. It took a while before I got good games, like, for, for, like my first Game Boy Advance game was the, a, well, it was the Cat in the Hat movie, the live action one, and I, mean, I don't know if it's a bad game, it's, uh, it's probably better than the live action movie, but, you know, definitely not uh, something you'd want as your first Game Boy game. But later I got Sonic Advance and uh, Sonic Advance 2, which I wanted for so long because I actually had a guidebook of it. I used to love getting video game guidebooks. You know, I don't... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Don't worry, we found it. But yeah, I... Did y'all ever collect video game strategy guides? I I I love getting them for Christmas, and I, I must say they were they were quite a godsend during the the, the blackout because it was I love look rereading them and just you know looking at all the pictures. Why are there so many slinkers? sneakers? Oh, uh, one sec. Get over here! Ah! Ah! You guys are throwing knives! How many are there? Come here! Come here! Get over here! Sorry, I'll, I'll get to the chat in a moment. Just gotta deal with these. Go! Ah. Woo! How many more are there going? How many more are, you, are there going to be in this room? Oh my goodness! Like I never think I've ever seen this many sneakers or whatever they're called. Okay, I let the Luigi go. Okay, what were you saying, Epic Pikachu? Did you hear about the private play test? It's speculated to be GameCube on NSO, but it's still strict NDA currency. Oh yeah, I heard about the play test. Yeah, I heard Nintendo's been very serious about telling people do not tell anyone about it technically no one's under an nda because they didn't sign anything but definitely don't say anything i've heard rumored it might be the i would it might be the gamecube i would love it because the gamecube was probably my favorite game system so many good games where is the key oh 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 Luigi got it okay good uh, but yeah. Oh, you have oh you have a Mega Man Star Force art brick. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I would have loved to get something like that. Star Force is so good. Though I've actually only played the first two. I really need to try three sometime. Look, Lu Luigi. Bluey. May as well be. The Nintendo Ninjas, after all. Yeah. 
Open the door! What are you doing? Open the door! Thank you. What is wrong with you, Aaron? But yeah, I, I actually watched uh, Arlo, uh, the uh, that little blue monster YouTuber. He did a video about some of the stuff that leaked out about it. Might not actually be Gengu, but I heard it's it might be involved some kind of game that's about make like creating a planet and managing resources or something. But you, you didn't hear from me. Good. Open it. Yeah. Yeah, Luigi. What? This Luigi is getting on my nerves. He's not the worst player, but I don't know. I keep getting nervous. Oh well, never mind. Okay, you're, you're all right, Luigi. There. Oh, but I tell you, Chad, I would love GameCube on the Switch so much. Oh, we lost some players. Technically, we do have a few GameCube games right now. Uh, let me think. Uh, we got Pikmin 1 and 2. Uh, though the Pikmin 2 is a little modified because they didn't pay for the licenses, so we don't got any Duracell batteries in the game anymore. Oh, uh, what do you? Oh, you confused by the ninjas, uh, Sakurakudo? Uh, Epic Pikachu is referring to Nintendo's legal team. It said that if you if you leak something, they send your they send ninjas after you. I don't think literally, but it might as well be. All right. All right, we're doing good, and I'm stuck with Luigi. Uh, you know, you, you can handle with that. Why are you following me? Oh, goodness sake. This is concerning. But, yeah, what else we got that's GameCube? Uh, we also have uh, Super Mario Sunshine in the uh, Nintendo 3... The Super Mario 3 All-Stars collection. Did any of y'all get lucky enough to get it? I managed to get it, and uh, it's pretty fun. It was great playing those games again. B Luigi, can you stop following me? You, we're, this is not efficient, and watch out. Wah! Oh my goodness, yeah. Luigi. Thank you. Hey. Okay, Thank you. AC's polite. Like with Mega Pokemon League? Oh yeah, if you leak something and Nintendo finds you, you won't be heard from again. Uh, yep, pretty much. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm wondering when they're going to get rid of the guy who leaked, who who was responsible for the Pokemon leak. You know, the one that leaked like everything Game Freak knew had about Pokemon. Even leaked the the, the next system's code name uh, out. But yeah, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, GameCube games. I, I feel like the Oh yeah, we also got Metroid Prime Remaster on the Switch now. Love that game. I, I kinda, I'd love to stream that one too. I gotta... Oh yeah. I might want to try that sometime. Is there a door here? No. They kill you? Uh, I don't know if the Nintendo Ninjas kill you, but... Uh, the, the, I don't know, maybe either that, or maybe it's like four kids and you'll end up in the Shadow Realm. Either way, don't mess with Nintendo's legal team. They are evil. And what's worse, they're, e they're also really good at their job in terms of messing everyone else, so... Just, let, just ask anyone who's made a fan game. Ah! Oh, come on! Not again. See, an idea I had for Metroid Prime is that game has a scanner feature where you can just... Where you can we can scan enemies and you get logboat entries. I was thinking about doing some kind of art project with that. I'll, I'll leave that till late, more details for later if y'all decide to do that. Okay, look, Luigi, I appreciate the company, but this is not efficient. Go away. <laughs> Okay, you, you handle it. Oh, not both. But, yeah, give it... Yeah, give that back. Yeah, indeed. Not more banana peels! Clock! Get the clock. 
Wait, where the? What, why are you Gooigi? Bluey, Gooey now. Oh, no. I know you're in there. Or not. Oh. But yeah, so let me ask you this, chat. If they were to bring GameCube the Nintendo Switch on, they don't kill you, they just make you disappear. Yeah, exactly. They Shadow Realm you, it would seem. <laughs> or if they do something, you... But yeah, here's what I'm asking, chat. Uh, what if they bring GameCube to NSO? What what games do you think they will do? I, I know they'd probably put Super Mario Sunshine on. That's like one of the more notable GameCube games, despite its uh, reputation. Especially if someone says the word Pachinko. <laughs> Uh, I think they'd also they'd also probably put uh, Luigi's Mansion, the original, on here, which would sadly mean we probably wouldn't get the 3DS remaster. What do you mean disappear, Epic Pikachu? I I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, Sakurakudo. I'm my best guess is they'll sue you so much that you will literally never have any money of for anything ever. Well, that's weird. They put the key right next to the locked door. And thankfully, I got it. Ah, uh, let's see. What, what other GameCube games you think would get on? Uh, I'm not sure if Pikmin 1 or 2 could... Because they're already on the Switch. They're already... You can already buy them on the Switch. And plus, Pikmin 2 would have to be modified to not have all the licensed stuff. What other stuff is there? Uh, oh, Kirby Air Ride. I really hope they would put Kirby Air Ride. Yeah, we did it! We're almost there, chat! Yeah, I don't know if... It, did it have any of y'all played Kirby Air Ride? It is like one of the best racing games ever. Especially the city trial. It is so fun. But I might need to stream that sometime. Uh, but yeah, what what other GameCube games do y'all think could come on? A any thoughts? You think they could put Animal Crossing? Do you think that would work, chat? Oh, we gotta destroy the crows! Oh, you don't see that one too often. Yeah, this one's a little like Capture Ghost. We just gotta find rooms filled with crows! And just gotta get rid of them. Oh dear, forgive me, Raven. I don't know if there's any rat versions, but... I think you can suck them up, but it's better to use the light. <laughs> Burb. Yes, burbs everywhere, everywhere, burbs! Very rich burbs, apparently. Come here, oh, come here. Give me that bird. I think maybe don't. <laughs> so yeah, chat, any suggestions on what they would... Okay, definitely ignore the ghost. Only crow. Don't care about ghosts. We need crows. Oh. Okay, actually, actually, I need to get rid of these ghosts, otherwise they will kill me. Ah! Quote the Raven. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really know the full poem. So, uh, never more. Ah! Never, never more. I think that's that's all I know. Nevermore. Ghosts that only need burbs and no ghost. Nevermore! Oh, it actually gets rid of the ghost. Oh, hey, we did it! Alright, there we go. Hey, that means we made it to floor 10, which means more to special ghost! Oh yeah, can y'all think of any GameCube games that could get onto the Switch? 
Uh, definitely not Metroid Prime, because, you know, that would... Why would anyone want to buy the remaster then? Then again, they did put Red Rescue Team on here, despite that game getting a remaster, so I don't know. Alright. Y'all know the drill, and... Oh, oh, I'm so worried about that guy not moving. Okay. You should see the Simpsons version of the Raven. Ah, okay. I'm guessing it's... Is it one of those Treehouse of Terror ones? I'll have to look that up sometime. Okay, we've got... Oh, they found... Did, did they find the key or just some goodies? I can't tell. But yeah, yeah, can y'all think of any GameCube games to put on Switch? Uh, one, there is a one I would absolutely love to see, but I don't know if they're going to do it because it's owned by Capcom. And that would be, uh, Gotcha Force. Have y'all ever uh, heard of Gotcha Force? It's, uh, kind of like, it's, a, it's sort of this game where you collect these, uh, toy robots and fight each other with them. It's a pretty... I, uh, it's actually one of the rarest GameCube games in existence because it came out, like, near the end. It didn't get enough promotion. Oh, no. Oh, no. Louie... Luigi! How, what, how are you being bullied by this trash can? What? You, did you, you woke it up! Oh, goodness. Alright, let's try, alright, let's, where's the door? Oh, yeah, custom robo would be great. Oh, that'd be awesome. I, I would love to try that. I know they have the Jap, I know on the Japanese version of the N64, they have the, the they have those versions of, of, uh, gotcha, of, uh, of custom robo instead we just got the pokemon puzzle cult thing come on dude what are you doing get, dude get out your guiji Blu luigi what are you doing don't make us lose Seriously, what is wrong with you? Why are y'all doing this? Uh, for goodness sake. Oh, we got these guys. Oh, we got more red ones. Uh, okay, it'd be really good if I can find one to hog myself. I can't... I do have to smash them a little bit just to get their health. Hey, I do want to try Custom Robo someday. I know that I mostly only know it by the Assist Trophy and Smash Bros, but hey, they seem pretty cool. Oh, good. All right, go. keep this goob all to myself. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We can't slam it, otherwise it won't count. Come on. Oh, we got a we got one shot. All right, we got a we got a special goob. But yeah, Gotcha Force is... It's a lot of fun. It's very... It's a little grindy. Basically, after every match, you have a chance of getting one of your enemies. And they got a lot of fun stuff you can play as. Uh, like, uh, you know, you got, like, robots. You got... Hey, we did it! Yeah, there are a total of five Custom Robo games. Three on N64 that never released outside Japan. Custom Robo on GameCube and Custom Robo Arena on DS. Yes, yeah, that's, that's quite fun. Yeah, I need to look into it. Uh, I wonder if you can get oh, yeah. play as like any big boss robots in the Custom wow. Robo, because most of my knowledge of Custom Robo comes from Smash Bros. Because I remember getting a few Custom Robo trophies in Brawl. And I remember one, it was like this big black spaceship-like robot fighting like a smaller, more cooler one. Is that like a boss in the game or something? Uh, oh well. Hey, I gotcha. If y'all have the time, I, I ha oh, we gotta deal with a bunch of mini goobs. I recommend looking up Gotcha Force. It's 
it, it's weird. It very much feels like, you know, one of those early 2000 type of shows like Pokemon or Digimon. You know, it, it, you know, it feels like it should have like a, a, a an accompanying toy line and anime, but it it doesn't, which is quite weird. But it's also got. But think about Gotcha Force. It's also got some very uh, wacky things you can play as, like uh, tanks and jets Whoa, yeah. and dragons. The dragons are fun, but a little hard to use. You can even use whole battleships. It's a fun game. Uh, the voice acting is. Not great. Seems like they've got a bunch of children who do not know how to voice act, but uh, I, I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I might I might do Gotcha Force as a special stream at some point. Uh, also, I know, I'm sure Epic Pikachu would love it if I ever streamed custom Robo, so uh, let me ask you this, Epic Pikachu, do you think it would be uh, better for a special stream or like, or full-on streaming weekly? Like, uh, and it, as, and would it be okay if I went in blind? Or is Custom Robo a game where you really gotta know what you're doing? Again, I, I don't know if I'll do it next. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all pick a game for me, from a list of games when the time comes. So, uh, look, look forward to that. Uh, we're, we're getting pretty close to finishing Paper Mario. We, uh, Whoa, only got man. about two chapters left and then the final. And then the final part of the game, which... Oh, that's gonna be something. I just... I really hope I can handle it after all these years, because... The final boss of Thousand Year Door, it took me months, maybe even years to defeat. So I'm... I'm granted, it, a lot of that was from me... Not being very smart on how to play RPGs. By that I mean I just put all my points into health, because I thought that's how you win. Just have more health. It doesn't really work when the bo when the final boss has like 150. Alright, so far so good. Let's keep on going. So yeah, maybe I'll look at some custom robo after this. Now, speaking of uh, robots, I've, lately I've been watching uh, another customizable. Ow! Ah! Oh, come on. Uh, lately, I was going to say I was watching this other robot show called uh, Metabots. I might have brought it up on a stream already. It's kind of like Pokemon, but uh, with robots. It's a pretty fun show, and I gotta say, chat, the dub is so hilarious. Like, it is very unhinged at times. Honestly, the whole show is kind of unhinged. <laughs> like, in the best way. Especially the villains, the Rubber Robo Gang. Like, imagine if you took the stupidest- Ah! Uh, oh, I'm gonna- it, Yeah. Oh, well, what? Well, uh. Yeah, uh, real quick. Uh, imagine if you took the stupidest parts of Team Rocket and amplified them. Okay, what's that? Uh, you can play blind. The game has a system that allows you to handicap the enemy if you lose enough time. So that's nice, you know? Yeah, I might put that on the list of potential games to stream. Uh, I could pro probably just slip it onto my dolphin emulator. Uh, I'm so annoyed I slipped into here. Uh, but yeah. Do Luigi's! Oh. Well, I hate it when this happens, when... When no one bothers to get me out of a trap. Oh, don't make... Are we gonna lose because of this? Come on, can't one of y'all... Oh. Oh, good. Oh. Well, at least it came up on its own. No thanks to y'all. Get over here, you fools! You've made us waste so much time! Oh, no, not good, not good, no! No, we were so close, but those idiots... Well, I'm also an idiot for falling into the trap. Ah! Where? No, no, no! Come on, get here! Oh, goodness! 
You, oh, we were so close. Oh, nope, I'm out of here. Oh, that is frustrating. Uh, by one, by flipping one. Curse you, AFK player. By one. I don't know if it was necessary AFK, it's just they would not let me out of the dang trap. Seriously, why don't these people understand? Split up, don't stick together. Oh. oh well, bright side, we got our ghost, so let's let's go ahead and stick them in and see what we got. Let's see if we got anything new. Yeah. Oh, they are slinking. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a we got another speed goob. Is that the only one? Oh, I don't think we got the slammer though. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, I don't so I don't know if we got anything new per se. But, uh, we got at least another for the collection. Alright, uh, we still got about 30 minutes left, so, uh, let's go ahead and try this again, and hopefully we won't have to deal with that stupid Bluigi. Hopefully we'll get a smart Bluigi. Uh. You see why I only play this during October? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's do the... Let's let's do our same tactic. Do twenty floors. Uh, that will give us at least three chances to catch a special ghost. And thankfully, we don't actually have to clear it in order to keep the ghost, which works for me. Oh, the, oh uh, no. Uh, actually, no, no. I'm, I'll, I'll let's maybe do this one because it's really close to the special ghost floor. I'll, I'll, I'll consider custom robo. Uh, what are some other now? What are some other good GameCube games you all think could in, get included? I, I need to look through my GameCube collection sometime. I think a lot of it is actually games that you can get on other consoles, like uh, Sonic Adventure One and Two, and Heroes, as well as Wallace and Gromit Project Zoo, and Carmen San Diego, and The Secret of the Stolen Drums. Yeah, I, I quite like those games. They may not be the best, but I, I still love them. Mm. I wonder, do y'all think they would put Metroid Prime 2 on the service? You know, I, I'd rather them make an HD remaster like they did for Metroid Prime 1. But, you know, I feel like Metroid Prime 2 is a lot bigger since it's got the whole wor two worlds thing. Uh, so, for those who don't know, in Metroid Prime 2, you're basically on a planet that has been split in half on a dimensional level. By that, I mean there's a light world and a dark world, which I guess is basically linked to the past but Metroid. And the light world's been invaded by the dark world residents, the Ing, these terrifying red-eyed insect-like monsters that can just possess things, like ghosts. And, what's, and they've nearly driven the planet species, the Luminoth, which are like these uh, moth people. They've nearly driven them to extinction. Like, there's only like a couple left, and they're all in stasis. But Sam has got there just in time, and what she has to do is go to the Dark World, steal back the, en the f life force of it, and restore the Light World, and eventually defeat all the Ying. It was also the first game with Dark Samus. She's, she's kind of just there doing her own thing, sucking up Phazon. Yeah, it's quite fun. Uh, you know, one idea I have for next October is I'm thinking about maybe seeing if I could play Metroid Fusion. I feel like I could get through that game pretty fast. And it's also, like, my second favorite Game Boy Advance game. Oh, I love Fusion so much. Speaking of which, uh, y'all have any other thoughts on what they might put on the Game Boy Advance? I believe they just added some uh, F-Zero games. I think one one that was never released in America, and another that was, uh, I think it had an anime. Did y'all know that F-Zero had an anime? I think I saw com a few commercials for it back on 4Kids TV, as well as, uh, I think I saw a, a clip online of, like, the finale of, like, Captain Falcon, Falcon, pu Falcon punching Black phantom into the sun or something. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome. Speaking of which, at the moment, Chad, uh, the, did y'all know that almost all but one F-Zero game is now on the Switch? 
I think the only one missing is a G GX, or is it GT? I think, actually, I think it's F-Zero GX, which was, in fact, the last F-Zero game ever made. Quite a shame. I heard it was quite awesome and was, like, a painfully hard story mode. Like, very much, you gotta know exactly what you're doing or you will die. I think you could also make custom carts. Looked really fun. But yeah, I feel like they definitely would put that on the GameCube service because... Internet is messing up, gotta go. Oh, okay, sorry about that, Epic Pikachu. Well, thanks for staying and talking. Uh, hope you have a great night and uh, good luck with your internet. Stay safe from the storm. Uh, but Sakurakudo, uh, you have any suggestions on what Game Boy Advance games they could put on the online service? I'd really, really love it if they could put Sonic Advance, uh, the Sonic Advance trilogy and Sonic Battle on there. I just don't know if they will because it's owned by Sega. You know, I just, and I, it's, it's, I don't really, I'm not sure how it will go, chat, because, you know, what, wh what are the rules? Pokemon, oh, oh, that'd be so good. I would love it so much, Soccer Kodo, if they put the Game Boy Advance games, Leaf Green, Fire Red, Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire on there. I want, oh, dang, oh, dang, they, oh, they lost. Well, I'm, I'm heading out of here. I don't think they'll ever do it, though, chat. Because Game Freak really doesn't want... I really don't think Game Freak wants anyone playing their older games. Because... Then people would notice how bad the newer games are. But could y'all imagine if they... If you could, if we could actually get Pokemon Gen 3 on the Switch. And then actually have it connect to Pokemon Home. That would be so good! I know there was a rumor that they were actually going to do it with the first games, but it didn't happen. We've gotten a few Pokemon games on, on here. Uh, we got the Pokemon trading card games. I wonder if I should try those sometime. I used to play the Pokemon card game a lot during Sun and Moon. I, I made, I think about, I want to say three decks. One was a Grass Electric that focused on using Vicavolt. Vicavolt to pull out energy from the deck. That was a lot of fun. And the other was a poisonous dark deck that mostly focused on using status ailments with Alolan Muck and Salazzle. You know, I really wish they would make a plush of Salazzle. I just, um... I don't think they will because I'm worried about the people who want a plush for other reasons. Uh, let's, let, let's move on. Um... Yeah, the only other Pokemon games we got, I believe, are uh, the Pokemon Puzzle Battle. That's like that one game with the anime characters, and you swap the puzzles around, and they got music. I played that a little with uh, music note. She got pretty confused by it. And, uh, oh, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, which is an absolute miracle. I can't tell you how happy I am to, to actually get to play that game. It made me real, remember, realize that it's my favorite Game Boy Advance game. Uh, hey, Sakurakudo, have you been playing any of Pokemon Red Rescue Team? I, I'd love to know what Pokemon you got on the quiz. I I kind of just... Uh, well, for, I mainly tried to get the... It, when I originally played it, I kind of just... Uh, it was back before I started reading regularly. So I kind of just pushed whatever questions, and I ended up as a Machop. So I just did that again to become a Machop, because I quite like the low fighting lizard-like Pokemon. And my partner's a Squirtle. Yeah, and I'm trying to make it like my original game cartridge, where I'm going to get us both evolved all the way into Machamp and Blastoise. That'll be fun. But, uh, but yeah, if you do... I wonder which Pokemon you would get if you took the quiz. I only have the basic Nintendo Switch Online service. Oh, I, I see... Well, um, uh, well, uh, if you ever find a way to per perhaps, uh, help me pay for mine, uh, let me know, because, uh, I, I would love to find more people to get in, you know, it's $80 a month, I got about three other people, my family helping me, 
But yeah, if you ever have a, have a way to like send me fifteen dollar, fifteen dollars or twenty dollars to like PayPal, I, I could probably help. I could probably get get you in on my on my on my plan. So uh, we, 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 we might we might need to talk about that later because I'd, I'd, I'd love for you to get to try those games. Oh, we're starting. Okay, but yeah, no. If you don't want to, it, it's also fine. I, I I don't blame you for not getting the full expansive because. Oh goodness, fifty dollars a year is a—that's a really big ask. Yeah, oh, eighty bucks. Yeah, that's the family plan. You see, it—you it, can either get it for your set for one user for fifty dollars a year, or you can get the family plan where you get it for like six or eight people. But it costs $80 a year. So, you know, the, the idea is that you get multiple people to help you pay for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, Chad. I remember when they first announced it. People were furious. People, everyone was so mad about it because, you know, they'd been begging for those games for so long. And then you have to pay that much. Oh, uh, it, it is definitely too much, chat, so do, do not feel bad if you can't afford it. I completely understand. Like, I, I might not even be able to... Yeah, the basic pack is, is 20. A exactly, like, tw 20 is a, is understandable. 8? 50? For just, like, a couple of game For a couple of games at the time? And at the time, some of them didn't even work properly. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know. Ow. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know if y'all know this, but some of the games didn't actually emulate properly, uh, notably Ocarina of Time. Uh, for whatever reason, they could not emulate water properly. Ooh. 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 I'm an invincible. Oh, I could just touch them. Hee 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 hee. So, like. Notably, what one of the things that went wrong is, for whatever reason, it, you see, in, during the Dark Link boss fight, or mini boss fight, uh, there's supposed to be a reflection. I thought, yeah, don't bother me. Oh, it does. Yeah, the, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, basically, it's supposed to be a, a water reflection, so you can, like, notice your shadow disappear and become Dark Link. But in the online version, uh, for whatever the reason, the water looks like goop. It just looks like a bunch of shadowy goop. And so the reflection doesn't work. And it was, it was really bad. But yeah, uh... Though, uh, you know, if, if you know how to set up emulators, uh... That works too. I mean... I don't think you should emulate Switch games because you can currently buy them. But you know, uh, Nintendo's not selling Game Boy those games anymore. You know, I mean, if they're not gonna let you buy, if they're not selling it to you, uh, no reason. You know, I mean, you might as well uh, take to the high seas if you know what you know what I'm saying. Okay, Lu Luigi, you have to. Mm. But yeah, sometimes. But yeah, the thing about piracy is it's a service problem. Because if if it's easier for Oh, we did it. We did it. If it's easier for someone to just download something online rather than rather than like spend billions of dollars on eBay, eBay. I wish that you would stream Kingdom Hearts but Disney Cops. Actually, about that chat, I uh, actually brought this up to some other streamer and they actually found a way to do Kingdom Hearts. So it turns out I might actually be able to stream Kingdom Hearts as long as I mute any of the music that's singing. So basically as long as I don't play the opening and ending themes, I think I'd actually be fine because I think the Disney World music doesn't get picked up by the copyright system. So uh, yeah, I might actually be able to stream Kingdom Hearts someday. I just need to decide how because well, at this point I think I probably just need to buy it on my computer because it's on Steam now. Oh wait, now I remember. The, yeah, the thing about that I just remembered is my 
my hard drive, I don't think I have enough room, but I could probably buy an external hard drive. I don't know, maybe, maybe that could be like a donation goal. Like, uh, if, do y'all think I should start trying to have donation goals, chat? You know, like, if y'all help me raise a certain amount of money, I'll stream this game. I know that's what some streamers do. I, I don't know if I want to do that yet. Just cause I, I don't want to pressure y'all to get any money. Because, again, I'm just happy y'all are here to watch me. But, yeah, I'll definitely add Kingdom Hearts to the list of potential games. Maybe after each stream I could draw either a Heartless or one of the Disney characters. Well, actually, maybe not Disney characters, because... Because, uh, again, D Disney is not doing so well right now, and... Oh, no. Luigi? Yeah, yes, yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely add Kingdom Hearts to the list. What are y'all doing? Get over here! Uh, I guess they're looking for power-ups. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with these guys? Okay, let's let's just go look for some power-ups for ourselves and hope these guys don't get themselves trapped. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts is definitely a an option now. It might be a while though, just cause money I, I like I need to buy the I would prefer to buy the game so I'd have access to it all. Or you could play on that game what? that I told you about on Instagram. Oh no! Thank you. Thank you. What, ga Thank what you. game was that? I'll, I'll have to look at that. that... Thank you. I'll have to look into that. Oh my... Thank you. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I fell into a trap while those Luigis were wandering! Ugh, please, this is ridiculous. What is wrong with y'all? I really hope they're not too stupid enough to think they... The Twisted Wonderland. Oh, yeah, that... Nah, I'm, I'm not really into dating sims. Dudes! Oh, please, just one person help me, please! All right, thank goodness. Okay, that was ridiculous. Why were y'all going to look for power-ups? This is not that we do not have the time. I really wish the money. Oh well, we have the time now, so good job, Purple Luigi. All right, let's do this. Here we go, chat. All right, let's get some go. It's not a dating sim, it's a visual novel. Oh, okay, G good to know. I just, I assume, I kind of assumed it because he kept saying hot anime guys. Oh my, oh I, oh, I hope we can catch one of these guys. They look so cool. Oh shoot, oh come on. Did he just take my, did he just steal my, my vacuum? Son of a Grinch. Wait, save one, no, no. Save some for me. Wait, no, don't kill it, don't kill it! Oh no, there's one left, no! And we're not, I don't think we're gonna get it, chat. I think, I think someone's gonna steal it from us. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, sorry. Wait, okay, seriously, where is this dude? Oh, he's gone. Where is it? Oh. Okay, just... No, don't do that! You fools! Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Em... Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, there. Oh. We got a new person in the chat. Uh, who do we have here? Uh... Oh, hello there, um... 
Nman 15 cx who seems to have posted a uh, Twitch emote. Welcome to the stream! Uh, hopefully you're a real person and not a bot. Yeah, yeah we're currently streaming Luigi's Mansion 3, trying to, uh... Trying to capture some special ghost. Not going very well. But yeah, I, I hope I didn't do anything wrong and get Twitch authorities on me. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Uh, we uh, usually stream Paper Mario and Fire Emblem. I'm currently doing... Currently doing... Wait a minute. Oh, so, wait, is that... Is that an inappropriate name? Uh, let's not worry about it. Hope I didn't get a bot again. Let's just ignore it. Uh, well, let's see if we can cap. Let's we'll probably go. Wait, why do these goobs have so much health? Let's just get through these Egyptian floors and uh, and uh, call it a night after we lose. I we didn't really catch any new special ghosts, but that's just how it goes. Get over here. Ow! Get off of here. I do like that they actually react to the slamming. Alright, let's do it. Oh, not again! Why is it every time I, I look away at chat for one moment in the hallway and one of these stupid rugs get me? Son of a Grinch. Well... Curse you, rugs! No kidding. Oh, and look, a blackout, too! Because why- Oh, and that guy's dead! Because why flippin' not? Well, I, um... I, uh, I think we're gonna lose. I'm gonna say that is really annoying that you specifically have to capture the special- the rare ghost. And you can't just slam him into the ground. I, our bo oh, and one of them's dead. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, oh, you're so slow. Hey, where, where do the Egyptians keep their breaker lights? Oh. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try to revive the green one. What? Not again! Oh, I can't believe I did it again on the same rug! Ah! Oh, I wish there was a button to say sorry because this is so dumb. Okay, good. Oh, that. Alright. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah, you you head over there, do what you need to do. I'm gonna go get Luigi. Cur curse you, dolphin! Er, curse you, rug! Yeah, yeah, the trap rugs are the worst. Okay, I, I need to focus, chat. I need to pay attention, make sure we don't sit on another one of stand on another one of those cursed rugs. Wow. Egypt! Plagues upon you! And your daggum rugs! I can't believe I fell into a rug three flippin' times! Oh, goodness. 
You know, still not as frustrating as fighting the Hag One. That was a tough boss fight. This is dumb. This is dumb. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're totally gonna lose this. Let me see if I can at least bring this guy back to life. Maybe. Oh, for goodness sake, go away! I give up. I, I give up. Wait, what? That should be a highlight attack of the rugs. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, forgive me, future me, for having to look at that. But we somehow cleared that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Samantha. Uh -huh. I guess. Oh my, that uh, we some we somehow got through despite half our team dying and me getting mugged by rugs. But yeah, well. I do appreciate y'all's suggestions for highlights. It does make things a lot easier, because I, I really do need to make more clips to... Where'd you go, Samantha? I really need to make more clips for my, to get more people watching, so any suggestions are greatly appreciated. In fact, today I just got the, the one you suggested last night about Urk's promotion. It's okay, nothing amazing, but it, it, hopefully it will do, do rather nicely. Oh, bip. Oh, well, that's... Ah. Okay, let me... Okay, can I... Oh, oh bip on the right side of the bug. Ah, you, ah, you found me! Great job! Uh, we'll give you two points after we get to this level. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I, I st yeah, nice of you. Glad you were able to see Biff sneak it, sneak in last minute. All oh, right, we're looking for toads. But yeah, I'll, give me uh, remind me after this uh, after we get done here, and I will add two points to your list, Sakurakudo, because you know, Biff is only going to be hiding during Halloween. So uh, yeah, congratulations. No tricky to see. Ah, oh my goodness, get over here. Yeah, I gotta get her all over the ghost or the toad won't, won't do. What the heck? Let me play the game! That gum Egyptian blackouts! Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh wait, I think he got toad. Get over here, you stupid slinker! Gonna hold still! Ah! Oh, why can I never find these bug bugs? I... Okay. Okay, Toad. Get... Okay, Blue Toad. Get over here. Hope you're. Hopefully you're. Yeah, curse you blackouts. Yeah. yeah. Oh goodness, I can't see where the fake doors are. Okay, good thing we got rid of this section at least. Okay, let's get this toad put away and hopefully we can find the breaker switch. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna hug this, the walls because I don't want any more of those godforsaken rugs. Okay, Toad's there, but I want to see if we can find the breaker switch because this is, I cannot see it single. Wait, 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 I think I just saw it. And we lost another Luigi, nice. Oh my goodness, ugh. I'm gonna need, I need to do so, I need to find something relaxing to do after this chat. Oh, just, oh my. 
blackouts and rugs are stressing me out. The toad, move! What makes the smasher, the crushers annoying is you have to get behind them uh, to catch them, and they're very fat, so it's hard to uh, do so. Alright, good. We found, we got this toad. Uh, I think... We might... Actually, we're probably gonna lose this, Chad. We lost so much time. And that Luigi seems to be struggling quite a bit. And of course it's a blue one. How about Animal Crossing? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have Animal Crossing anymore. I th in fact, I think my original disc might be a bit cracked, so... Yeah, but that, that might have been... That probably would be a good suggestion. Uh, yeah, we're definitely losing this unless that Luigi happens to find some clocks. Which I doubt. Ugh. I hate these timers. Oh, mummies. That uh, that explains why he's so stuck. Game over. Uh, well. Well. No. Well. Oh well. Better luck next time. Get me out of here. All right. Well, that was still kind of fun. At least I might have a potentially good highlight. Ugh. Well, on the bright side, you got two more points, so you're back up to 11 points, Sakurakuno. Feel free to spend them on whoever you want, whenever you want. Uh, we still got a lot of really good characters coming up on Fire Emblem. I uh, don't. Let's at least. Let's just look through the gallery and, and finish this up before I start having nightmares about rugs. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, I don't think we got anything new, unfortunately. Oh well, one of these days. Yeah, well. At least it's it, it's fun to stream it, at least. Oh! Oh! We actually had a thieving slinker before. That's nice. Uh, yeah, diffusing goob and the warp slinker. Yeah. I think they even, I know they they had these kind of ghosts for Luigi's Mansion too. They were even weirder. They had like flower patterns. And boss ghost. And uh, just taking a quick sneaky peek. Oh, I see. I think we're going to fight a king next week. A Scottish one in fact. But yeah. Eh, well, that's enough for Luigi. Oh, mamma mia. I need to go and take a nap. I need lots of spaghetti. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, we're gonna do one more Luigi's Mansion stream next week. Take a little break. Uh, oh, okay then. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, don't worry, they'll be fine. We're, we're kind of just replaying the game, so they're, they're already safe. Oh, well, that's a good. Well, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Always fun to see you on Halloween or whenever. Uh, be oh, wait, I just realized after next week I can get back to looking for the Marvelous Compass. Oh, that'll be way better than this. But, uh, I uh, guess I'll see y'all next week. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye-bye. Yeah, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed me getting tormented by rugs of all things. Yeah, I need to find, I really need to find some less stressful multiplayer experiences. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, tune in next week. We're going to do one more Luigi's Mansion stream. Probably see if we can get one or two floors in before the end of the month. As well as uh, do, a pr do a level uh, that has something I'm looking forward to on Fire Emblem. And uh, then we'll take a break on Halloween. But yeah, thank, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. Oh, and if you're a Transformers fan, tune in, uh, check out YouTube on Sunday. They're going to be doing some reveals on the 27th. Looking forward to it. Anyways, uh, see y'all next time. <gasps> Goodbye, everyone. You, you better be next week. Get ready for Halloween. It's going to be great. <coughs> Later, bro. Mm, very well, my friends. Have a most wonderful rest of your weekend. Find lots of awesome Saturday shows like Yu-Gi-Oh! And Pokemon. Those would be most fun. Say you know it, comrades. Have a great... Have a great rest of your night and rest of your week.
Until next time. <laughs> right. I'll see y'all next week. Ciao.